epic matchup between your two favorite teams, and you're at the game getting the most from what it means to be here with American Express. You breeze through the card member entrance, stop by the lounge. Now it's almost tip-off, and everyone's already on their feet. This is going to be good. That's the powerful backing of American Express. See how to elevate your live sports experience at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. Eligible American Express card required. Benefits vary by card and by venue. Terms apply. Sound the gifting panic alarm. You need to get an amazing gift. Wait, no, the perfect gift. And it needs to say, I'm a thoughtful person. And I appreciate you. And I know exactly what you like. All at the same time. Relax. Now you can use gift mode on Etsy. Gift Mode on Etsy is here to take the stress out of gifting, so you can find the perfect item for anyone and any occasion. It's easy to find gifts made by independent sellers for all the people in your life, like the pickleballer, the jazz fan, the zen seeker, the artist, or the pasta lover. From 90s nostalgia and mixology to reality TV and gaming, there's something for everyone on Etsy. A gifting moment is always around the corner. Whether it's a birthday, an anniversary, a holiday, or even just a day to say thank you, Gift Mode on Etsy has you covered. Need to find the perfect gift? Don't panic. Gift easy with Gift Mode on Etsy. When you choose Organic Valley, not only will you be enjoying great tasting dairy, you'll help to save over 1,600 small organic family farms who are protecting over 400,000 acres of organic farmland and all the plants and animals that call it home. This is dairy you can feel good about. It's great tasting, high-quality organic dairy, ethically sourced from small organic family farms. To find Organic Valley Dairy near you, visit ov.coop. That's ov.coop. Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part two of a two-part recap. If you're wondering where part one was, well, go check in the feed and be sure to subscribe so that way you always get your episodes. But enough of that, let's get right back into the episode. Okay, so Dolores Catania. Unless they're Chris Chris Catans or Dolores Catanias. <laughs> okay, so Or Katie's... Megan Catania. Kata- 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 what's Megan's last name? Catania. Catania. Megan Catania. Um, so I like her. She's kind of badass, Megan Catania. She's fun to have a martini with. Huh? Catan with Catania. I don't know why she hasn't started that podcast yet. That whole Jeff Lewis crew, one thing I'll say about all of that crew, they can drink a goddamn martini. Mm. Like, there's nothing better than a Megan Catania just ready to talk shit while she's swirling (laughs) a martini the size of her head. Could you you imagine playing Catan with Jeff? He'd be like, give me your your brick. Well, I have to use my brick. Well, give it to me. I have to use it. Well, what do you have to use it for? Well, I need to build a road. You have to build a road. I have to build a road. Give me your brick. Who's going to fucking win here? You think you're going to build your road before I built your road? I've done so you many nice have things a road. for you. You only have a road because of me. I paved the fucking road for you to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you my sheep. I gave you so many beautiful sheep. Shane's like, give him the I want is a brick. Give uh, him the was bricks. it so wrong that I asked for a brick? I don't know. I'm going to send a carnation tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to send an orchid. Wow. How did we get on that? I okay, don't know. So but I would love to play. I would love to play Katama Jeff. Um, can I just say I don't want to play anything with whoever wrote this song? <laughs> Unbelievable. They believe in. Is it conceivable? You can see it. Unforgettable. You know that I mean it. Unbelievable. Baby, believe. Fuck <gasps> off. Wait, I love that. I love that. That's They're amazing. Like, I'm going to take as many five syllable words. <laughs> <laughs> this song was written by Wallace Shawn. <laughs> Can we go back to the dead Irish hooker music, please? <laughs> Unbe- it's unbelievable. Oh, remember that song? No, but do you remember from Real Housewives of Orange County, Elizabeth, the cabaret star? <gasps> unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Unconceivable. It's <laughs> like this. Unbelievable. Unconceivable. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless her heart okay so vanderpump comes up it's a tom tom and they've moved the big gigantic nicolene iron gates from pump to tom tom yes and it's like, oh the new doors still has the pump sign on i see hello door 
goes, Nicolene. Nicolene just swings by on a giant pendulum. <laughs> yeah, the specter of pump continues to live on. It's like it's like a pop up experience. It's like pump X tom tom mm-hmm. so uh it's a collab so she comes in and then charlie the former pump server is there and she's like oh charlie how do you like it there here do you enjoy that you can wear one less button on your shirt i don't want to lose you it was hard enough losing pump i can't bear to lose a blonde twink from my establishments where else am i going where am i where am i gonna find a 45 year old bleach blonde hairless otter darling oh look here just as you said that in comes bueller bueller said did somebody call for a 45 year old bleach blonde otter <laughs> are you seeing bueller how, how bueller works now so that's what i'm always talking about you can't hear it i guess when we're recording but Bueller, if he's not getting attention, he walks to the other room, stays there for two minutes, and then comes slowly walking back down the hall so you can... It's Bueller! Oh, Bueller has, like, very... Bueller has very long fingers. Very, very long fingers. So, that, of course, they make all that noise. Oh, isn't this nice? Because now you can love on Bueller and the pod... I can, I can man the ship while you do it in the background. Um, anyway, so this beautiful music happens. Oh, yeah. So uh, Lisa's saying hi to the waiter. Cause, and, um, and Sandoval walks in and he sees the pump gates. He's like, huh, interesting. And Amanda Pump's like, oh, it was so hard losing pump. We loved our staff, including our chef. So we moved them all over to Tom Tom. And I was like, no, the food was good at Tom Tom. No. I know. Why do you have to destroy the food at Tom Tom? No, don't do that. I like that Tom Tom was just like, here's a cherry tomato and some vinegar. <laughs> Enjoy, bro. Listen, Tom Tom's like <laughs> buffalo cauliflower is like legitimately delicious. Well, oh, by the way, someone emailed us some very important info that Chef Penny actually was the chef de cuisine for Tom Tom as well. So really? Yep. Yeah. There you go. Well, good for you, Penny. Didn't that thing also say she was like uh, worked with Cisco Foods, right? I don't know. I don't think I got to that part. I just read the you're wrong. And I was like, how dare you? And I wrote back, fuck you and your entire family. Um, <laughs> and they were sorry. Like, Confession They time. were like, no, just about Chef Penny, not about your views on things. Like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, poor Charlie. Um, I feel for Charlie, didn't you? He was like, poor Charlie. He didn't expect this. So. He was like, he was like, I was a pump man through and through. Yeah. <laughs> Tom was, Tom's always been beneath me. I was a solid pump man, and now here I am at Tom Tom, the most hated place on the whole strip and now i thought lisa was going to be like oh little blonde hairless twink i have something for you a job on television to replace <laughs> tom nope just a job at tom tom well logan still works at tom tom which is funny because he was the one who broke the penis flute so i mean that's technically his boss i'm surprised that like tom didn't fire him <laughs> his boss i'm sure as Lisa says, oh, like a letter two and a half percenter say anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Sandoval comes in his sleeveless sweater. I cannot. And showing uh, off the guns. Turns out, breaking news: horrible people can work out as yeah, well. Yeah, they uh, usually so do. He comes they and usually do. Um, he's like, "Well, what are these pump gates? <laughs> oh, I don't love the fact that." Neither Tom or I were consulted on these gates. (laughs) I'm sure Oriana also doesn't love the fact that she wasn't consulted on your affair. Let that hang there for a second. (laughs) Still giving my Tom look. (laughs) Still giving my intense. Good night, everyone. My Tom (laughs) smiles. Sorry. I was caught up in my moment. Um, So she's like, uh, well, darling, I wanted to ease myself gently into being rid of pomp. And I just have to have these gates to walk through. Let's go to the garden, which I've changed into a (laughs) European planter paradise. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Nothing but planters. She's wearing a pearl necklace that looks like shrunken heads. The pearls are this big. They're so big that the little ropes keeping them on are like little necks. And they're just like little rich <laughs> shrunken heads. They are the shrunken heads of former cast members. If you look closely, you can see Vale. You can see Faith. You can see... Um... In a different light, they're just old Kim Richards. <laughs> I think there's Charlie in there. It's just Kim Richards. <laughs> Kim Richards in a 
in a in a top pony. Uh, one of the people, Carlton gave me this. One of the Bravo artists. You know, there's so many good Bravo artists who make like cartoons. Um, like who can sketch? You know, there's so many of them. But one of them made Kim Richards as a shrunken head when she wears that top pony. I will. It's burned into my brain forever. Okay. Um, guys, I have really dry lips. Ben, take over. I'm oh, have you been crying? <laughs> I was crying so hard, my lips turned into rakes. So, <laughs> so like, I literally need a Reiki healer. Um, Jack's like, fucked her. I did her. Yeah, so uh, Sandoval's like, oh, man. Hey, uh, what's going on? Like, uh, he orders, like, a Diet Coke. He's like, can I get a Diet Coke with some spoons? Hey, Lisa, I got us ice cream. I got lavender and, like, cookie dough. Yeah. And she's like, ew. She's like, <laughs> ice cream, have this. Disgusting. I would pink ice cream. Give it to me now. <laughs> he's like, you want some ice cream? She's like, no, disgusting. So he's like, so Tom was great. They were like really kind to me. Oh, good. You know, the first time I saw you at Wolf, opening soon at Haraz. <laughs> you know, I know no one can understand that, that we're opening soon because it's a complete shit show. But guess what? It is opening soon at Haraz. Mm. So she- I will have ice cream. Pink ice cream the week that slut is trying to sit up. Uh, Steal my color. I'll have you. I'll have your heart, Bobby Dickens. <laughs> so you look happier than last time I saw you. Is it because you got this on sale from the Victoria's Secret men's department? <laughs> you know Lisa is just like driving past the arc light. Was it open then? I guess it was already no, closed. No, it's closed. It's been closed. So you know she's driving past some movie theater when Barbie weekend is happening going, I did it first, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Speeding off. <laughs> So, um, Sandoval's like, yeah, like, um, yeah, like, I appreciate, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm not, like, as depressed. Like, I'm just more, like, a little bit more buff, you know? But I'm, like, really worried about Rachel. Like, I miss her, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, Charlie, uh, oh, no. So, she's like, um, darling, he goes, so what? Are, what's with these pump gates? What are those doing here? And she's like, oh, I just wanted to ease myself gently. Um, I'm sorry, we did this part. <laughs> Like 10 minutes ago. Oh, but did we say, I guess we did do that part where she said, uh, he's like, I didn't like not being consulted. And she's like, we don't consult at two and a half percent partner. We did that. I'm so sorry. I had to put lip gloss on. You had to, it's, it's that, uh, it, it yeah. messed everything up. Honestly, it enhanced it. So, Listen, I may be dumber, but I'm hotter now. So Sandoval's uh, talking about how he just wants to like a, I just want a friendship with like Rachel and like Rachel. I don't know. And Vanderpump's like, okay, well, I wasn't going to tell you, no. but. Then I thought, this would be hilarious to see your face. So guess what? <laughs> and on top of that, you're wearing a sleeveless sweater, so it makes me feel bad. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you look cold, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. My little sleeveless, one of your veins is popping out, you poor thing. Right. Um, I've spoken with Raquel. She's not very happy with you. And we got a tss. And uh, Rachel did a podcast, you know, she does every week. She has her own podcast now. And uh, she was talking about this um, on it. And just the revelations that Rachel comes out with. She's like, I think that the reason she called me was because, like, she's on a TV show. And, like, anything I said, she was going to use on the TV. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think she's fucking calling you? You think? Well, duh, duh. Sorry to respond with this, but doy. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel goes rogue, and also doy. Um, so, Santa but also, like, just to be fair, she does have a point with Vanderpump only supporting the men. It's like, <laughs> but darling, don't you want to come back and do this on camera? Yeah, and Rachel's no. like, I would never have dare she's not support me, but she didn't come back she because d- it wasn't enough money. No, no, no. she doesn't want to. She doesn't. She doesn't want to go back into reality TV where she could be exploited. Okay, you, all you're gonna do is exploit her. Okay, Rachel, record come the on. show. Here's record the show. Okay, here's a show. Talk about it. Talk about it. Okay, talk about it. Okay, you want to sue someone? You want to sue someone? Here's my lawyer. Here's my lawyer. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get him. By the way, people are always asking me. How come you're so thin? <laughs> it's because I eat whatever I want. <laughs> but just a bite. I hate being full. I hate it. I hate being full. Huh, look at me right now. I'm eating a chocolate. I went to Italy and here are all the things I hated. Oh, my God. Did I, the was, was I telling you about this? I was telling I was, somebody yeah, about that night. last Oh, my God. The fucking Bethany Instagrams. I can't. Like, trying to prove how much she eats with that one little piece of chocolate. Look at me eating. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> you don't need a if you eat like me. <laughs> 
I, I looked at her uh, Instagram uh, two nights ago, and she's like, look at this. Like, I, I got a boss. I was like, that was like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's I got a boss. boss. She's I got like, a boss. You, you know how I say something? I eat fossils. It's, it's a boss. Put so, a little mustard in spice. Zero calories. <laughs> <laughs> so Sandoval's like, the last time I spoke with Rachel is like, it's, it's like that. Like when people finish like programs, like sometimes they just like stay. And like I told her, well, this is like something you're going to have to like face eventually. And like the longer you stay, the harder it's going to be, dude. And like she got mad at me because like, of course, like it's like because like it became like a thing where like if I didn't like 100% with anything that she said, that we were going to say to her like, oh, like I was bad to her or something like that like of course they would turn me into the bad guy yeah like you tell her to go against medical advice when she's having an emotional breakdown and then they call you like a bad person <laughs> oh yes she did say to me that that she was real honestly such a piece of shit I, everything that comes out of his mouth she's in fucking treatment for shit that happened with you and he's like, get over it. You got to get over it. So can't just hide in a fucking hospital. Me, me, who cares so much about mental health. Yeah. And I'm threatening suicide every week. So Peter Bump's Fuck. like, well, she said that she wasn't that comfortable lying to everybody and that you said life is lying. It's like, I did not I see never. that. I did not. Now, hey. please enjoy your popcorn that I got you. This is ice cream, not popcorn. It's popcorn. Life isn't about lying about everything, Sandoval. <laughs> He's gaslighting. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a popcorn kernel in your teeth. I'm not falling for it, Sandoval. You will not trick me. <laughs> Charlie, do I have popcorn in my teeth? Tell me now. Wink once if there's a popcorn kernel. I love how he tries to have a sympathetic scene, but he can't stop himself from flying off the handle. I did not. <laughs> oh, well, that's what she told me when I was on the phone with her. Surely you could be on the phone with her if you just wanted to. It's like, she blocked me. <laughs> she to Vanderpump totally knew that. Of course. It's, she it's, enjoys this so much. That's why I love it. I don't even care if she's evil. I don't even care if she's calling Raquel being like, don't you want to be on telly telly? I mean, what do you think she's doing? She's running a house here. Okay. Yeah. So then she's like, oh, she blocked you. Well, then it's over. Yes, it's done. It's done. It's over. Um, I over. know this much from the tiki talkie. Blocky, blocky, baddie, baddie. <laughs> she's like, this is what I've learned from TikTok. You're my not little boo thing. Every little thing that you not do thing. <laughs> oh, God. Is that really a TikTok thing? You know that song? That's yeah. like... Oh, you're, you're my boot thing. It's like, so what? What, what yeah, are they doing to thing. it? Is it like a certain dance that they're doing? No, I'm pretending that Lisa Vanderpump took the TikTok song and negated it. <laughs> Listen, TikTok confuses me. I don't know why, because I know it's all an algorithm, and I'm like, but why am I being served this? Like, I get my feelings hurt by it because I feel like it's listening to me, and it's like you're a terrible person, and here's what we're serving you because you suck so bad. So I don't open it. It's very rare that I open it. Um, but when people talk about it, I'm like, but what's happening? <laughs> what's on I there? mean, honestly, it's a miracle that I know what's happening, considering the only thing that TikTok serves me is North, is North Sea TikTok over and over and over again. North those Sea. Boats. Uh, I boats. get girls doing makeup tutorials. It's no, the mine weirdest is, thing. I mine is boats going through rough water, and every single one has the same song. It goes like this. Yo, ho, all hands. Da, 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 da. I hate that song. Yo, That's such a straight. It? Yeah, of course. That's like such a Yo, straight guy thing. Yo, ho. It's like a sea shanty. It's a pirate song, yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> Yo, ho, Yo ho. all waiters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Tom Tom t North Tom Tom TikTok. Charlie grew a chest. Ow! Sorry, plucked it, plucked it. Can't have that, Charlie. You're at Tom Tom now. Yo, ho, all Raquel's. <laughs> Won't you blocks and of all? <laughs> I'm going to pass out. Uh, so yeah it's a lot so she's like oh she said she felt manipulated by sandy vol and she actually told me she didn't love him anymore owie <laughs> <laughs> you got served by charlie he's been doing this for 35 years you got served sir <laughs> so uh she goes now 
you have to move forward, Tom. Leave the past in the past. Now go walk through those doors of the restaurant that I've closed and can't get rid of. Please <laughs> leave under the pump sign, darling. <laughs> you need a clean break. So please be sure to kiss the Tom, the pump sign as you leave that I've put on top of Tom Tom. Now waiter from the restaurant that just closed, please escort this person out. <laughs> please give him a complimentary bag of teeny tiny boiled shrimp now i type kind of dyslexically and so i type lala's name sometimes as allah which is kind of funny because i'm like a god like <laughs> i'm not gonna touch that one i'm like well, i don't want to like <laughs> i'm like i'm not gonna you know i just always crack up when i see it because i'm like of course uh, lala is like the all-powerful she's like welcome to allah welcome to the allah scene so um jessica her assistant is like oh my god lala when you're in your heels, I feel like I'm your child. I can't believe Lisa's coming here. I was like, oh my God, dusting. <laughs> Is it because of this sentence that Lala decided to get a sperm donor? Oh my God, I love being a mom. So when you said you're like my child, it makes me realize I need another child. <laughs> or I just need to pay more people to completely imitate me to be able to work for me. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I love that Lala has like a stand-in for when she's not at the store, which is yeah. always, you know, she's has somebody who's just kind of like working. So Vanderpump shows up, like her. <laughs> Vanderpump shows up at the, at the door frame of Lala's WeWork uh, corner. And she's like, Oh, hello. What is this? This is, this is an office. What? I don't understand this space you have here. Where's your bar? Where's your, where are your, Purple lights and your fuzzy chairs and your giant pendulums swinging from the ceilings. <laughs> She's like, um, have you met Jessica? She's my brains. She says, oh, you have a brain? She goes, no, that's why I have Jessica's. Jessica's go desk. And Jessica's like, I'm going to be dusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, darling, I love this. This is an office. So what is this? Uh, is this it? This room? And with a, send it to Daryl's shirt. And she's like, no, it's also that other room and a parking space before. <laughs> so, I don't like to think about before. God, I miss pump. This is really awful. It reminds me of the time that I visited the offices of the divine addiction poor pandy couldn't quite get that one off the ground could she <laughs> guess it's better than pucker and power to whatever that ridiculous b-log was Ooh. it's time for a commercial it's time for a crappens commercial the team at Hungry Root just sent me a new box. It's full of yummy stuff. This food is so delicious. You know, I'm really keeping it healthy these days. And it's super easy with Hungry Root. My personal favorite, love some grain bowls. I had a poke salmon bowl delicious. I had a chipotle gouda grilled cheese for something a little more cash. Mmm. That sounds wonderful. Hungry Root is your partner in healthy living. It is the easiest way to get fresh, high-quality groceries and simple, healthy recipes delivered to your door. You can take a fun, short quiz, and Hungry Root will get to know your personal health goals, what you like to eat, the kitchen appliances you use, and more. And then they'll build you a personalized cart with all your grocery needs for the week and give you delicious recipe recommendations to put those groceries to good use. Save hours planning, shopping, and cooking. Hungry Root delivers food you will love. Right now, Hungry Root is offering Watch What Crappens listeners 40% off your first delivery and free veggies for life. Just go to HungryRoot.com slash Crappens to get 40% off your first delivery and get your free veggies. That's HungryRoot.com slash Crappens. Don't forget to use our link so they know we sent you. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda, you never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, Priceline. So, um, let's see. So, Vanderpump, so cool. I love what you've done to play. Ooh, the smell of minimum wage. Mm, it's lovely. Is that a plug-in, darling? It's a spray. They have a machine out here in this hallway. If you push a button, coffee comes out of it. Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> and um Lala a, wait a second I'm sorry I just got started I thought someone was coming to attack me but it turns out it was a giant bubble rising in this 
Incredible device that seems to have a tank of water over a big rectangle. What is that exactly? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jessica drinks up. <laughs> Still are sparkling. Oh, darling. It refills itself when she's done with the bowls. <laughs> <laughs> Before we had that, I used to come in and she would just be laying there dry. So have to pour water over her to bring her back to life. Oh, this, this machine is hideous. Can we just put a little black shirt on it and have it unbuttoned <laughs> to its navel? Does this machine have a navel that we can... <laughs> Can we talk about my sperm donors? Because I'm trying to talk about not needing my... Darling, men donate sperm all the time. Just stand outside in the Sir Alley. Surely you're sure to catch a lowered hero there. Why pay? <laughs> you could probably fill up this entire jug with all the splooge those widows put out. Just have Jessica, or whatever her name is, stand out there with that plastic thing. Surely you'll find a few babies. Still are sparkling. I told you I don't care. I accept my babies whether they're sparkling or not, darling. Still are sparkling, yes. We call Pan Pandy our sparkle and Mark are still. Oh, and Lala's still. like, I'm just a bitch in these streets trying to find sperm donors. She's like, ugh. <laughs> What am I doing here? <laughs> Haven't what you ever seen? Place? <laughs> Someone get me out of here. This takes me back to 1990 when my sweet husband Ken brought me to a horrific movie called Look Who's Talking and I said, never again, never again. <laughs> uh, all fun games until you've got a little Roseanne Barr refusing to eat her SpaghettiOs, am I right? <laughs> is, that, is that she, devil? Wasn't that, look who's talking, wasn't there like a little Roseanne Barr baby in that? I know there was oh. a Kirstie Alley, but didn't there, wasn't there like a Roseanne Barr? Oh, maybe a future, maybe, I only saw the first look who's talking. Oh, yeah, Bruce, oh. Wasn't it Bruce Willis was the voice of the baby? I don't know, it was like Kirstie Alley. And Kirstie something. Alley, John Travolta, and the voice of Bruce Willis. Hold on, we have to And see. then it was turned into a TV show, which, which I think had Julia Duffy in it. Look who's talking. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if Roseanne's in it. Yeah, Roseanne Barr. I well, think she was in two. look who's talking too. Look who's right. talking. There Olympia some, Dukakis, she's great. Well, she was in. There was someone named Twink Kaplan. Twink Kaplan. <laughs> Why do I feel like Rome. we know Twink Kaplan? Right? Oh, of course, Twink Kaplan with the mouth. We know her. She's like a, a oh, famous she was 80s an, actress. Oh, she was the. She wasn't she? Was the teacher in, in Clueless? Right? Yeah, she was great. I love Twink. <laughs> How dare you not know who Twink Kaplan is? I mean, I didn't know her name, but I would totally go to her university. Um, can we see who was in Look Who's Talking the original? Okay. Because I feel like there's probably Look someone great. who's talking cast. And then I also want to know about the TV show. Which So one? Olympia Dukakis. A lot of people lost their hair from this movie. I'm going to tell you that right now. Abe Vigoda was in it. Something on craft services made them lose their hair. Because you've got John Travolta, bald. Bruce Willis, bald. Jason Schaller, bald. Abe Vigoda, bald. I blame the film. Yeah. I do. Wait, look up, look who's talking the TV show. Oh, for fuck's sake. There was a TV show? Yeah, it was on ABC. I think it was Julia Duffy. Oh, no, it wasn't Julia Duffy. Julia Duffy was in, a, it was in a show called, like, Oh Baby or something like that. Oh, yeah, well, there wasn't a movie of this. No, okay. there was a TV show. There was a TV show of it, but it was, see, look, uh, oh, it, it, there was. Look who's talking now? No, that was part no, three. No, there, there was a TV show, but I. Um, okay, this is over. We it's over. To, yeah. I'll look it up on my Let's phone. Go. Okay, so now. I'll look it up on my phone. You can look it up here. We no, 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 no. It'll be easier. It'll be easier if I do it here. Okay. Um, so Lala's like, we're in a position now where, I mean, I hate using the word dissolve, especially when we're talking about sperm, darling. Can we not? <laughs> so drop the liquids. All right. Okay. Well. Are we talk when you say dissolve, are we talking about the carcass of that fly that's attached to the fly paper up there? <laughs> well, I don't. That's Jessica. Jessica, get <laughs> off the fucking ceiling, Jessica. I was, I'm sorry, <laughs> that stinks. I was offering the flies, still are sparkling. <laughs> She's just hanging from it. Like, that was just, that stinks. I got stuck up here. It's not flypaper, it's actually just my extension. I got caught in the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's like, okay, well, I also don't like using the word rant, but we're going to rebrand. And um, that's what we're doing. Because I have to get rid of Lala's in the names. The brand has to stand on itself. <laughs> But wait, you yeah. make two sweatshirts. Send it to Daryl, and like I'm a bitch on these straights. 
Um, I just want to interrupt and say that there was a show called Baby Talk that did star Julia Duffy and George Clooney. Baby Talk starring George Clooney. He's probably so mortified. George Clooney I'd and like Julia to think Duffy. George Clooney is in Dubai somewhere getting a massage <laughs> listening to this. Like, well, he's so gone. Well, you know, no, George Clooney is now, he, he and Amal are like concerned about like major worldwide events and humanitarian causes <laughs> and then we're here like yeah and he was also in a show called baby talk well, hey, listen. <laughs> julia duffy it doesn't erase your past you know what i mean look at oh that look at that God, photo at George Clooney, wow he's in the haired. it's it's julia duffy and wait click on one of them well this is also him on roseanne remember when he was such a disappointment to jackie and he was on facts of life that. like i feel like those of us who are children in the 80s really knew the true the true the true, true george he was also not that cute back then look how cute he is now he's way cuter old yeah good jealous, for him. jealous okay so um we're talking about lala's business so um, much like george clooney King. she's rebranding from yeah. baby talk to international superstar <laughs> Yeah, he rebranded the Caesar salad to a Caesar haircut. We all had it. Do you remember that? <laughs> God, my head smelled like anchovies for months. I looked so weird with that haircut. Yeah. But people, that was the first time people were like, oh my God, your head is so round. Mm. So you, you had the Caesar? Oh, yeah. I didn't. I, could, I, never, I, I never did it. I pulled it off. I love that. Shit. Except I have two calyx right here. When I had hair, I had two calyx, and that yeah. kind of fucked up the Caesar. But, you know. The Caesar's hard. Kids, uh, your haircuts as a kid can never work out. That's the point. Okay. So Lala is, Lala is Lala giving Lala up. Scene. It is no longer give them Lala. It's give up Lala. Okay. Cause give she's, up Lala. She's, it sounds, but it also sounds like she, the, the, maybe the brand that she created was that like enmeshed in her, in her relationship. Is that like, is, is she having to rebrand because of her divorce? No, I don't think so. I don't know. And I don't you know think what we're cares. not going to know because Lisa Vanderpump sure does not give a fuck. She's like, what are we, why am I here? What have I done? Who made me come to this set? This set of sad. So she doesn't ask her anything. She's just like, sperm is disgusting, darling. And um, so then she's like, let's talk about, um, let's talk about this baby some more. So she's like, so Lala says, yeah, I want another baby. And this morning, my child is fully speaking and vanderpump's like and did she mention a spam donut <laughs> no but like i don't want to have my baby i don't want to have a baby daddy okay it's like i just you know what i don't i don't i don't, I don't want, I want to have a child i want to have many little babies okay and i'm like thinking about getting it i want to get a donor and then i want to have this one and like adopt one and then get a baby and then create a baby what i want to do is i want to pinocchio some bitch i want to go to a toy store and be like that's mine and then i'm gonna make it come to life okay <laughs> um and she's like yeah i'm gonna adopt one i'm gonna get a guy then i'm gonna buy one then i'm gonna like find one on the streets i don't even care i just want like a non-share baby and she's like like share the singer no i don't want to share my baby <laughs> it's like so hard knowing that somebody could come in and take my baby one day i want to be able to look at ocean and be like bye happy and then just push her out the car door and then hug my child my full timer <laughs> Be like your benefits are better, babies. Have you considered a small, barely alive little dog? Because I find that that's very rewarding. <laughs> no matter what you do, make sure you chip your child. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what happens, I find someone a child, and before you know it, they're at the shelter in the OC <laughs> or Arizona of all places. I love being a mom. Okay, I'm bored. This is exhausting. <laughs> I know that poor mothers go through labor. I don't want to hear about it. All so, right. Sandoval, Tahoe was a respite, wasn't it? What? What about spitting? No, no. Okay, did you have fun there? Are you friends yet? Can we do a TV show yet? What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of trying to rebrand my babies. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, we'll talk about Saho. Okay, well, it was easy for me because I don't have to be between Tom and Ariana like Sheena does. But there was this group photo taken of all of us in Tahoe. In front of Woof! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. And the internet was like dragging Sheena for being a slut. No. For having terrible dry eyelashes, they're embarrassing. Tell her. No. For never going through the universal life experience of being on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> well, that too, actually. But mostly for standing next to Santa Claus. And I was like, why wouldn't you put out an, a message to Ariana? And she didn't want a headline. And I was like, everything 
It's a fucking headlines. And then she did it. I'm a good person. I'm like the mother of Teresa of making people post on Instagrams. So all right, then we see Ariana text, uh, tweeted something that was like, Sheena's great. She's always been great. We love her so much. Doesn't matter who she stands next to. It would matter more who she dances next to if she were on a show about dancing. <laughs> Listen, it's not like she did the rumba on national television with somebody that dumped me. <laughs> it takes two to tango, especially if you're on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> You know, Brittany, I just wish that I could make this up to Sheena and thank her for being so loyal by letting her do Brittany Night on Dancing with the Stars. Unfortunately, they wouldn't allow that, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> this Tuesday. They're doing a night yay night for me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dance to the song, Rotten Hail! <laughs> I'm allowed a moment. Oh, just give me a moment. I'll live for my kids. <laughs> You're a cool guy. I'm wrong. <laughs> You're a cool... What's her dog's name? You're a cool dog. You're a cool guy. Chris I don't Lee. remember. Carson? <laughs> Breeson? <laughs> Flukin? Larkin? Larkin. <laughs> You're a cool guy. Potato chip. You're a cool chip. guy. You're a cool guy. guy. Um, what is his name? You're cool. I, I oh my god! Know. I'm I sorry. Anybody hitting? Okay, your I'll, look, I'll, look right I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I already. Brittany I already, and Jax's already, dog. Okay, okay, Brittany and Jax's dog. I'll look it up. Okay, so um, uh, Lala's like, yeah, she needs to put out a statement because it's shitty of her not to stand up for somebody on Instagram. Song. She's like, oh, we're calling it Insta Hippie now, darling. Just despite Raquel. So um. Lala, Lala's like, yeah, I said Ariana's something Scott against Kingsley. Kingsley, you're a cool guy, Kingsley. Kingsley. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. That would have made me nuts. So Vanderpump's like, I only see a shit storm coming. Woof. 2024. <laughs> so now uh, we Lala are. Lala drinks from a mug with her face on it. I love. <laughs> there is Free so much. Things. There is so much episode left. I'm just looking at like I was like, oh, I was like, oh, we are only getting to really. Like... Aren't we almost done? No, we're just getting to like our first show. We're on an hour done. forty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's okay. It's you know what fun. we should talk about. Look who's talking. We should really talk about. <laughs> That's what we really need. Look who's talking. It's us. <laughs> um, right, I'm tired. You take over. I'm so do I know. Yeah, because I was just doing. I was doing. Yeah, to get it up. Do you, or do you have to lubricate that? Yeah, you have to put this like gel on it, and then oh, you I like. Had no idea. The, the thing. Oh God, damn! This feels so good. What yeah, gel That's laser. So cool to see it lasering my person. face. Wow, that's very nice. I have another one. Do you want me to get it for you? Sure. I can alcohol wipe it off. Yeah, I'll okay. give it a try. It's sort of scary. Number, am I, is my face going to burn? No. Okay. So we hear this City Lights song that's about City Lights and stuff. And we see uh, James is DJing at Sir. And we see lots of pink drinks and everything. So Schwartz walks up with Joe. And this is a very big Joe episode because this is also the episode where we get our first Joe confessional. Which, by the way, I love Joe. Um, so Joe is like, um, <laughs> if a spider could talk, what would it sound like? And would it want free Olive Garden? Because I guess that's <laughs> what I want right now. <laughs> breadsticks okay i just cut your hair why are we at sir instead of olive garden okay and schwartz is like oh well have you ever heard the term talking spiders or barking spiders it's a euphemism for when people fart get it oh it's a farting spider oh, oh. my god i can't believe i left during a joe scene i love joe how does it, wait so how does this work okay you just hold down the button and see it turns on and then you just rub it on your face wait can you loop it up yeah we're, we're doing facials over here it's a okay. nine hour recap. Wait, I just do it like this? Yeah, Can just like you're shaving, you but your face. Just kind of move Ooh, it slowly. It's like yeah. wet. And then it's going to get warm later. I feel like I'm doing safe. an ultrasound to my forehead. Yeah. Forehead. There's a brain in there. Baby brain. Okay. No offense. I didn't mean it like that. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, Joe's, Joe. Fucking Joe's a weirdo. If a spider could talk, what would it sound like? <laughs> He's like, um, <laughs> fart. So then they come in, and Joe's like, oh, my God, these seats are so small. I feel so tall in here. Basically, everybody, when they come into Sir and have to sit on the fucking ground on those seats Tiny made out of stools. fists. <laughs> They're Tiny. not even still, They're not even big as my mushroom stool. They're like a fist that you have to sit on. By the way, what is this doing to me? What's it um, supposed to do? It's supposed to kill the underlayer of skin so that it starts regenerating the it regen like i guess it regenerates your skin faster like it kills one part and then you know you can't have life until something dies guys it's okay. life okay 
Okay, so, um, so they, they, they go down. in and they're sitting on these stupid little stool things and um, Allie's like, hi, oh my god, are you a Pisces? You've got like such Pisces energy right now. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, I love you. I feel so tall compared to you. Hi, honey. <laughs> give me a hug. I'm Joe, your best friend. Your best friend for life. <gasps> oh my god, do you ever need a stick of gum? Because I'm basically your auntie right now. <laughs> auntie Joe, it does not sound fun. Do you want to ride in my car? I didn't bring my car. I can get us an Uber. <gasps> do you like riding on the back of bikes i love bicycles I'm, I'm, did you ever know that disco balls are just <laughs> tiny mirrors i had to stop doing this thing because it's distracting me from the pot i can't i can't multitask the way you can you're really good at it but i'm like am i putting it in the right place am i doing even distribution of laser there's no Is wrong it? way to do it okay well either way but now i feel like i've got lube on my face you do it dries it, it dries, dries up, up fast dries and then up. look at my skin now look at my forehead skin it beautiful. looks amazing. I'm beautiful. Telling you. Beautiful. Okay. So, okay. So Joe is there and she's wacky. And so Allie's like, oh my God, you guys are like so funny. I feel like you guys probably just had a conversation about spiders farting, huh? She goes, like, yeah. And Schwartz is like, so, oh yeah. So this is, this is Joe. Um, she's like a badass hairstylist. Oh, and she's from Wisconsin. And then Joe does this thing. Was this where she like grabs the hands? She's like, yeah. <laughs> is that what she does? She like just, grabs, she like she, grabs like, put out Allie's her fist. And then she's like, <laughs> she like grabs. Hands like it's so great. Another Midwestern girl. This is wacky. Tell me you live for Linguini. <laughs> and Allie's like, I don't know much about Joe, but I do know the other girls have problems with her, especially Katie. And then we see a clip of Katie at the reunion going, ah, and you hang out with Joe, just a fucking creep. <laughs> Joe is like the most like bubbly, happy person this show has ever seen. Like she's just like a free spirit, and she's like, "Hi, I'm having a great day today." And they're like, "Look at her, she's awful." <laughs> like, die, die in your sleep, Joe. Yeah. Um, and short saying, "No, she isn't. Don't disparage Joe." And then we cut back, and Allie's like, "I mean, didn't Joe move in with Shorts like right after they got a divorce?" Okay, so was he cheating with this girl? Because now I see if they hated each. They hated no, her I don't. Of that but i don't I thought think that so. she was his room he like put an ad out for a roommate after he got kicked out with katie and then they became friends and then they ended up boning a lot that's that's what i think it was but it was just that like the he moved on us, he though, moved on so quickly or whatever no, so it's just it's just a fucking liar i know show. fucking liar so james is like so this is joe isn't it hello darling and he's like yeah this is my good friend joe and ali goes yeah i get friend vibes total friend vibes friend vibes which i was like is she trying to kind of like make sure they're there or is that her way of advertising to katie like hey it's okay that i'm hanging out with joe because they're just friends so it's okay i don't know but i think she's doing a pretty good job of balancing but also no one's really taking her that seriously yet although i was very surprised that they're nice so nice to her at girls night yeah well she's like she doesn't really yeah she doesn't really she's just sort of like a, a non-entity and she's giving them free readings too like even yeah. if you don't believe in this shit if you hear somebody does readings you're like oh my god want to read me <laughs> let's do it <laughs> so james is like is it friends with benefits and joe's like <laughs> Gross. girls rule she's boys like, breadsticks i want my breadsticks <laughs> what's going on holograph <laughs> sure looks strange these days <laughs> um so uh she's uh ali's like yeah friend vibes okay like bone in okay uh, we're all the way at the bottom of the page okay i don't know how that. to use your strange mouse it's fingers it's a okay trackpad. Right, oh it's so, like a track it's like a mouse it's a it's like a mouse. okay yeah it's, it's a just, yeah it's an external mouse <laughs> it's like you know what it is it's like a trackpad track you know what it is anyway, it's just, this is why i'm so thin. This, this is okay so okay everyone i just want to show you this is a trackpad this is a trackpad you can get it you can just get it on the internet this is what they do now mouse mice are squared now it's like someone <laughs> ran over a mouse you ever see a mouse in a mouse trap that's what this is it's a trackpad but it actually doesn't run track so how about that? You can't even, this, it's, like, it's called trackpad, but you can't even put it in the Olympics. What's even the point of it? It's stupid. <laughs> so uh, Schwartz is like, we had some breakthroughs in Tahoe. And James is like, I have to admit, I was stoked to see us three band back together, band of brothers. You know how it goes. It's like, you were never part of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that was always just those two. You're not, there's no band. There's a duo. <laughs> this is Simon and Garfunkel, not the fucking Beatles. <laughs> sorry. You're being nice to somebody for no reason. I'm like, yeah. Hey, how's Hippie? Um, we put him in a crate so the cats can come up to him because he has behavioral issues. He bites. We do the same for James, too, to be honest. <laughs> Joe bites, too. Joe's like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Short says if I bark like a dog we can go to Carvel afterwards 
And then Allie's like, oh my God, it's a guy with giant muscles and no sleeves on a sweater. Is that Sandoval? Commercials, here comes one right now. Welding instructor Alex DeClaire knows firsthand how VR training platforms like ForgeFX can help meet the demand for skilled workers. Anywhere you go look, there's going to be a shortage of welders. VR training can help welding students learn the skills they need to begin and advance in their career. The beauty of virtual reality is it simulates that exact muscle memory that they need. Explore more stories like Alex's at meta.com slash metaverse impact. And so then um, uh, Joe's like, yay, Sandoval! Watch out, you're gonna feel real tall in these chairs. Well, Sandoval, I hope he takes me out back. Like, ew, that sounds just, no, Outback Steakhouse, that's like my deal with him. So Schwartz is like, yo, you, I was watching James, James, I was watching Frank Sinatra's on videos on on uh youtube and, and masturbating next to joe <laughs> and uh i was like we should have a rat pack guys night you know because we're like all supporting rat and um i don't know it just sounds we're fun back. you know <laughs> it's like i'm in i'm absolutely in hey dude what's going on i was just down the street i'm oh, sorry i thought i'd pull some southern charm hey what's going mm. on and ali's like oh my god i'm like nervous it's like i'm sitting here with sandoval oh no it's um, so Allie's just looking around uncomfortably and we get at and Joe's like, oh my God, the tall ones, the tall ones sit here. Okay. Oh, it's good for your knees. Just kidding. It's really not good for your knees. <laughs> this is where we're sitting. Oh my God. Are you my best friend now? I love you. God, I love you guys. I feel like we've known each other for 19 years. <laughs> this is amazing. Allie, I know what your sign is. Amazing. <laughs> if you were a sign, you would be called gather. Cause really what I want to do right now is <laughs> gather around you. Hold hands. Let's hold hands. Just kidding. Ah, dogs don't have hands. <laughs> Can I throw this goat cheese ball at your face? It'll be fun. <laughs> so Sandoval's like, so I was like just talking with Lisa and like we filled each other in on stuff and uh, yeah, I got her ice cream. <laughs> and they're like, okay. It was pink. <laughs> they're like, okay. Hey, James, check out these sunglasses. Yeah, put them on. Put them on, James. Yeah, James, uh, put these on. I got these for you. People they're accuse like... me of grooming and I totally don't do that. James, put on these sunglasses, bro. These are from the Linda Dano connection from 1987. These are really expensive and hard to get, James. You can keep them. He's like, oh my God, Linda Dano, he went on a date with my godfather, George <laughs> Michael. You might have heard of him. <laughs> can I call these sunglasses Andrew Rigsby? Because you know, he's in Wham. So Schwartz is. <laughs> <laughs> then Schwartz coughs and Joe. Oh my God, that was a world leader. <laughs> know that much. <laughs> My godfather George really loved him. <laughs> so Schwarzkopf. Oh, Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf was not a world leader. He was a general. Was he? he was a general for in Desert Storm uh, or Desert Shield. Well, how is James supposed to know that? General Schwarzkopf. So Joe's like, ew, you spit on me. <laughs> kind of fun, though. <laughs> so Allie's like, she's like, oh, um, James, those are I, those are nice on you. They're very um, Elton John. He's like, thanks. Hey, Allie Belly, Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like it feels like he's trying to buy james i hope james doesn't fall for his apology because then when he does and then it doesn't work out he's gonna be like why did i fall for this loser <laughs> but you know through the years thomas has always been giving me a lot of cooler like old brother gifts you know and like i've never lost one thing he's given me Mm, except for the joy I had at Rachella, perhaps. <laughs> and Raquel. <laughs> and Raquel. I did lose Raquel. <laughs> to him. Uh, it's almost like I gave him a gift. Yeah. So Kristen outside of Starbucks. Oh, Kristen? <laughs> Kristen, I, because they were showing shots of LA and then they showed one of the blow up things <laughs> with the arms. Oh, yeah. Going, whoa, whoa, yeah, they're back. So they're back at the ski ball place that um, Raquel oh, went smell. Raquel went to with. Sh oh, no. Sheena went there, yeah, I think with Sheena went there with Brock last season and was talking about how she like stands for Raquel. So they're there and Joe's like, Oh my god, let's get some tokens, tacos and tequila. I mean, wow, I can't believe like Olive Garden's rebranding like literally every day. Now it looks like this. It's a trifecta of teas, tokens, tacos, tequila. That's this amazing. We are playing fucking ski ball. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ski on the ball, ski the ball. We're skiing on the balls. <laughs> Not yours, we're just friends, right? <sighs> 
Uh, just to be clear, Joe and I were never in a, re- in a <gasps> formal relationship. However, last summer, uh, I maybe didn't divulge as much about how much we care about each other. I'm a little boy. I'm cute. But part of it was, you know, Katie has such resentment towards her, and Joe isn't everyone's cup of tea. But she has a great cup of tea. Ah. Oh, I just called her a cup of tea. I'm a fucking cup of tea. Loose leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Put some honey on me. God, there was a guy. So I was listening to NPR. What's that? Um, I don't even know. But I was listening to it, and there was like, there's a guy testifying about evidence of of aliens. I mean, there's so much new info about aliens. Like, tell me you're not a tall gray. Please be an Earl Gray. A beautiful tea of Earl Gray. <laughs> I come in peace. <laughs> I'm just an alien standing in front of an olive garden asking for some free bread sticks. Uh, and just not to let any of this pass by without commenting that Schwartz is also a piece of shit in this situation. Oh, shocker, you were lying all summer. No one would have guessed that, Schwartz. And no. you weren't listening to NPR. Let's come on. Yeah. Let's uh, be let's be honest. Yeah, okay. He's, he's fucking Schwartz. I love the way Schwartz is curating his personality. He's like, you know, I was just at home watching old Frank Sinatra videos. And reading <gasps> listening NPR. to Terry Gross. <laughs> Who's just me listening to Terry Gross? <laughs> Watching old Frank Sinatra videos. <laughs> reading the latest book review by Machiko Kakutani. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, guys, last night, am I right? That was so amazing. Last night was so amazing, right? Schwartz, it was so good. We were such a family. Remember when we passed the turkey and the stuffing? I mean, it wasn't really turkey and stuffing. It was just hugs and hugs. Remember when I gave my fist to that girl who reads charts? And I was like, you're my sister. And she told me to please leave. And I was like, not without you. Not without my daughter. Am I right? So we feel. Oh, bitch, get over here. It was right. Like, we are really like, I just, it is weird. Just like one big family. It's like, as long as we got each other. <laughs> right, am I right? Am I right? We're like a family, but we're not even growing and we don't have any pains. We're just like a family that's already there. Right. So at first, I was like, oh my God, they're such a cute couple. Like, I kind of want Schwartz to be run over by a bus, but they're cute. I mean, they have a good energy, but this is Vanderpump Rules, and we cannot forget that men are shit, and he's fucking this girl over a yes. hundred times over, and he immediately does his old, like, he does his old thing, because she's like, the producer's like, when was the last time you were intimate? And she's like, he's he says, I don't remember. He's like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. I don't really remember. We're well, not really. We're just friends. And she's like, uh, like, last week, uh, a month ago or something. Well, I don't really want anything with her. I just want, you know, we're just friends. And she's like, <laughs> So you just need time, right? So what do you need? Like three years? <laughs> three years, that's all you need, right? Okay, so you're going to be 43 then. Um, how old will my eggs be? Do you know anything about follicles? Not the hair kind. I know all about those ovary kinds. <laughs> do you think they're ready for you? Oh, my God. I've been harvesting. I've been harvesting. He's totally leading this girl on as well. Well, he also, by the way, let's not overlook the fact that he kind of outs this, right? Because he's like, yeah, whenever I bring, around, bring you around, guys, around the guys. And Joe's like, yeah, you're like, oh, my God. It's like my sister. Like, yeah. Except, of course, like, you know, it's sort of weird to have sex with your sister. She's like, oh, I'm talking too much, talking too much. Why are you saying that? She's like, why did you just say we had sex on TV? Yeah, but he is totally leading. He's doing that thing like, we're just friends, right? But then telling her they're not just friends and then fucking with her head. And this girl's going to end up in tears. Like, I thought we were more than just friends. I thought we were going to be together for three years. And by the way, Joe. I like you on this show, and I'm already feeling bad for you because I see the trajectory of this. And I'm also not going to feel bad for you because you should know this. Don't tell me you don't have a television set. Okay? You know. You know. Look at the fucking signs, okay? And if you don't look at signs, don't be shocked when you fly off the side of a cliff because you miss the curve. Mm. Okay? Well, I Man. like Joe, and I'd like to see more of her on this on this TV show, personally. Well, there you go. There you go. So then um, he's like, in another timeline, we could be living happily ever after. She's like, three years, right? Oh, our baby could be three years old if we started now. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We're just friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now we go to James and Ali, and Ali is trying to make, she's like, I need to like watch TikTok so I can know how to make a charcuterie. Hold on one second. I'm going to turn on the charcuterie talk. Yo, ho, all meats. Place them directly on the cutting board. Hold on, let me look at another one. 
Blomp, blomp, blomp. What's the song you were saying? <laughs> you're my little boot thing. thing. <laughs> you're my little charcuterie. <laughs> Everything in little did a do thing. And I'm in the moot bing. Okay, so now the boys <laughs> are in suits. So James and Schwartz meet up at this steak place. and um, The brightest steak place like, in Los wow. Angeles. <laughs> Lo- yeah, the very fluorescently lit. <laughs> H&H. H&H steaks. Yeah, this I, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oh, nice classy place, guys. From the people that brought you bagels come steaks. <laughs> and he's like, guess what town I'm going to tonight? Chow town. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so then the girls night. Katie and Ariana go to Allie's and Allie's like, oh my god, everybody, look, it's your birth charts. Yeah, and she's like, I'm so excited. And she was like, delivery. So this like huge box arrives. She's got these huge boxes. I don't know if they're dress boxes or guitar boxes or whatever. And Allie's like, yeah, I owe Sheena my life. And she goes, yeah. Maybe, <laughs> was it, did it have something to do with Taylor Swift? Yeah, because then she were they said. The be- were they the beads that to make the, the friendship bracelets? It was big boxes. I mean, there were people, humongous boxes. Because people bought enormous amounts of those beads to make those bracelets to hand out. Really? Of, yeah. I thought they were either guitars or uh, dresses or something. Or Taylor Swift. She's like, I imported Taylor, Taylor Swift for tonight. <laughs> We've had Taylor Swift dismembered and sent to my house in Burbank. Because <laughs> now we got bad blood. Um, She's like, when teardrops on teardrops on my guitar blessed our ears on the radio, I decided I want to be just like Taylor Swift. <laughs> and then we see a clip of her from 2012 as a baby singing with a guitar. She's good. I know. I've, I don't think I've ever said that about a singer on Bravo before. She, yeah. She, she's good, but she's not. Delu- this is my worry about Allie. To be on this show, you need to be delusional. Mm. Allie's not delusional. And she... She needs the delusion to have become her true self because she can actually sing. She was up there. She was doing like, uh, who will smiling, save like she had a good pr- your presence. soul? And then uh, it was like a, I don't know, it was like sort of like a, like, like a. I'll tell you who will save your whole donut. He's been through training. <laughs> So um, she's like, but there can really only be one Taylor. So I decided to become an astrologer instead. Gave up on your dreams. That's how I got on the show. I want to just inspire people to have positive energy while they're giving up on their dreams at a very (laughs) young age when the whole life is ahead of them. Uh, So run, girl. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Do I need to come down there and stage mother your ass? Because I will do it. When is it my turn? (laughs) What did it get me? Me in the background. And the this mama just, rose your ass. This just in, Allie's guitar has been cast on Dancing with the Stars. Ah, <laughs> I can't believe that would happen. <laughs> so now we get the conversation we've all been waiting for. Pellegrino versus Perrier versus Avion. So <laughs> Allie's like, Lala, I know you didn't drink, so I got you some Pellegrino. Is that okay? She goes, I love that. She's like, good, because James said it was like the worst sparkling water. She goes, no, Perrier than Pellegrinos. <laughs> and then we cut the guys, and Schwartz is like, what do you think the best sparkling is? And James is like, I would say Avion. <laughs> but by the way, Avion's not the best sparkling, is it? I don't, I've never had Avion sparkling. Why would I think it? I've had it, but... Uh, Avion is a thick water. I don't like Avion. It's a milky water. It's a thick... It's yeah. a, it's a I don't hard know, water. I don't know what my favorite... I mean, Ronnie has... Jet has kindly provided me the Topo Chico, which is by far the most carbonated. I think in terms of the best actual, I mean, I, I, I love one. a Pellegrino. You think this is the best in terms of flavor? You know what? Well, flavor, I'm not talking flavor. I'm talking pure bubbles. This one, is it still bubbly? This is, it is wildly bubbly. It is his, like I hear his acid. bubbling from over here. His is still bubbling. Mine is almost gone, so there's no bubbles up. If you put your ear, it, this is like a seashell. If you put, like a conch shell. A conch shell. If you I put hear your, it. If you put your ear to a, a Topo Chico bottle, you can hear the sound I of Vanderpump Rules dreams fading. <laughs> oh, there's only one Taylor Swift. There's only one Taylor Swift. One Taylor Swift. One Taylor Swift. One Taylor Swift. That's the sound of a soul dying. Yeah. That's the sound of Joe's soul dying on the show. Uh, no, Joe didn't give up on her dreams. Just Allie did. Joe's still dreaming. Joe's like, I could be a horse if I wanted. Would you marry a horse in the okay. years? Okay, that, so the point that was the Topo's... sound of Joe's parents giving up on their dreams for her. <laughs> yeah, the, the minute they, she brought James home. No offense. So um, Topo Chico, that's the best because the bubbles last forever. 
And because they're very hard bubbles. They're like, <clears throat> like they and, attack you. And because the lady who is the heiress to the Tipo Chico fortune is absolutely amazing and fabulous and was the best part of Mexican Dynasty. Great show, by the way. Bring it back. Okay, so uh, they're talking about that. They're all wrong because Topo Chico is the best. And then Sandoval comes, um, and their waitress is Beatrice, who is like, oh my God, there's so many people here in fluorescent lighting. Welcome, <laughs> I'm Beatrice. Do you still have coconuts? Uh, Jim's like, oh, you do love, you love sucking on sweet coconuts, don't you? Hashtag Rat Pack. Beatrice is like, thanks. I just, yeah. uh, you just, you want Perrier? <laughs> yeah, Jane's still trying to convince us that they were all brothers at one time. I'm like, nope, that don't have that chemistry. It's like, I remember juicy coconuts. Like, oh. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut, and the coconut goes, you know, stupid slut. <laughs> Okay, so then Brock comes and they play some meat game where I guess some are, some have green green. Well, I guess one side is green, one side is red, and then when you've had enough meat, you have to turn it over and you're red. And then stop. It's like all you can eat meat. I mean, it's disgusting. It's a Brazilian and, steakhouse, you know. I mean, just all it's you can. I'm not not anything against Brazilian steakhouses in particular. Just all you can eat meat just sounds like protein farts to me. Okay? Or West Hollywood. So uh, mm, yeah. Lala back at the other back at back at girls' night with the star charts. Which, by the way, half the reason why uh, Sheena came is because she heard the word star. It was like maybe it's dancing with that. So uh, Lala, is it Lala, Lala is like, by the way, I'm so excited about tonight. I want to hear about everyone's, okay? So Ali says that Ariana has Jupiter in her first house, perhaps drops of Jupiter. Yeah, and- it means you're so lucky. Like you have like a four leaf clover in your pocket. Ariana's like, um, you know, I didn't feel lucky when Charlotte died, and then my grandma died, and my relationship died. And we see the clip of her having <laughs> seen <It's> about- misery. <laughs> like, can I? What do you? Can I get you anything for you to die? Yeah, and she goes, but maybe getting rid of Tom was like stomping. Maybe Tom's foot was on the four leaf clover, stomping it, and getting rid of him like let the four leaf clover bloom. Yeah. Yes, actually, that sounds uh, like a good theory. Yeah. So then, I mean, I even feel better. Honestly. And so Ariana's uh, Ali is like, Sheena, I was super, super shocked by yours. Um, Is mine like a girl with dresses for you that look like Taylor Swift? Yeah. Your moon is in the seventh house, which is like a need for partnership. But your sun is in the twelfth, which means like the first is the beginning and the twelfth is the ending. So like, you know, we're all going to die. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I know. Hold on one second. I read that wrong. Your son is actually in Sparrows. I don't even know if Sparrows could have a space on these charts, but apparently they really are everywhere. Oh, my God. It's amazing that you read my future restaurant theme, Sambaros. <laughs> it's like me- it's like Sambaros, but Mexican food. Sambaros. <laughs> and the theme is like hats. Sambaro hats. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she was like story of my life is like putting everyone first and like oh. that's just like how i was raised like on the plane like you're supposed to just like save yourself first and like i would save on <laughs> tea because she makes enchiladas <laughs> I would save on tea. <laughs> <laughs> so ali's like um lala you're next you're you're mean <laughs> well it's like yeah i'm a real cut fitness right <laughs> and so they're all laughing and um, then she tells Katie, Katie, this is definitely not your first lifetime. And Katie's like, no, I think I'm on my last one. <laughs> yeah, in my previous life, I was always like a male. That's why I'm like having trouble stepping into my feminine shit. Because I've always, I've always, I've never been a woman before. <sighs> and she goes, yeah, if you ever wonder why I have such big dick energy, it's because I used to have a big dick. <laughs> uh, Ali's like, okay, cool. Hey, Ariana, can I tell you something? Things are looking up, and I know it feels shitty right now, but in 2024, around March, you're going to be like, thank God that fucking happened. Cut to Ariana's now uh, being sued for uh, revenge porn. <laughs> well, she's being sued while she's on Broadway. So. But she's on Broadway. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, I mean, by the way, that is that is kind of wild. I mean, she's Ariana's literally like selling out like the biggest sales Chicago's had in years because of Ariana, and that is happening right now in March. That's wild. Ellie got it right. Best album ever. Get it. All okay, so um, Ariana's like, yeah, she's talking about how she wasn't prepared to move then. She's been working on it with her lawyers. And even before all this happened with Tom, like the literally, 
early the week before she was emailing the agents and being like, guys, we need to do something because I have five dollars. So, yeah. yeah. And she was like, really like she was running out of money. And she talks about how when she first started to make some decent money, they decided to buy the house and then she was playing catch up. So it sounds like the house was like a little bit out of her like what she could truly afford. And then they found the sandwich shop and then had to put some money into that. And then all of a sudden she's like, basically down, she was down to her last $2,000. And so she's saying that like Sandoval created this mess and now I have to re I have to like responsibly move to the next step, which just goes to show it's not as simple as just like, Oh, I'm moving out of this house. Like she had no money. So it's not like you just go out, right? And especially like why should why should she be inconvenienced by him when he's probably the one who kind of probably like advocated for getting a house in the first place. So uh, then we go to the boys and James is like, "When was the last time you spoke to Lisa?" And they're, he's like, yeah, Lisa said that she talked to Raquel and that, like, it's, like, so weird talking about this in front of you, James. It's, like, yeah. so weird, bro. Yeah. You be all right? You be all right. right Will you be okay if I tell you that I, I brought Lisa some ice cream? Because I, right. I definitely did that, bro. Oh, my God. Is she sober now? <laughs> no. I was like, she eats it for enjoyment. Really? Does she snort that, it? Does she snort possible? it? <laughs> I can't, isn't, does she know about the dangers of snorting? New York super fudge chunk. You can really get something stuck up there. You've got the lavender. All right. With the lavender, you put it in a glass pipe. You get real hot. Not regular mm -hmm. light of hot. Real, real hot. No, bro. All right. It wasn't drug ice cream. It was just ice cream. Listen, you don't need to feel weird around me. It's a gentleman's dinner, and I'm not going to flip the, the table over. Hold on one second. Beatrice, could we have some more Evian? You don't have water. Well, get the fuck out of here, you stupid it's fucking stupid stop, bitch, stop, bitch, Beatrice. Beatrice, turn around. I'm going to spit on your ass. How about you work at a real restaurant like Sir once in a while? Where's the DJ in here anyway? <laughs> wiggy, wiggy. <laughs> Oh, so then um, Brock's like, all right, what was your perception of what you were told? Because he knows, Brock, you didn't say what you want about Brock, but Brock sees. Brock sees. Listen, he also has the confidence to show up in a ruffle shirt, okay? Uh, like a sheer you? I would have the confidence ruffle. to do whatever the fuck I wanted if I looked like that. That gel, that hair, that haircut. God damn it, I love you. Just take off your shirt, Brock. <sighs> Well, she's like, Rachel's like not happy with me for some reason. Like I haven't heard from her in over a month. And I'm like sitting here looking at my phone every night, really just like with the camera on looking at myself. And I'm like alone. Like I can't do this anymore, dude. This guy has a nerve. Everything he says. Like how's every single thing he says? Yeah, poor me. Like she's like in therapy and like I'm here alone. Like what the hell? Like it's time for me to move on. I like, cannot with this girl obsessed with her mental health. Who does that? She's literally in rehab and he is he is the one who's the victim here. You know who was never in emotional rehab? Barbie. It's fucking Barbie weekend. Can I please? <gasps> Go to me. I know it's got my by myself. <laughs> I never did a girl about you. <laughs> So then Sheena's like, I'm going to text Brock. But it's like, so we're not being with Brock right now. So Lala's like, you know, these guys are all bonding right now. So I hope you're prepared for this because that's what happens. Guys go and then suddenly they forgive everything. And Ariana's like, well, I would hope that James would feel like he deserves better. And Lala's like, guys are different, Ariana. And she goes, well, that's sad for guys. <laughs> and uh, Ali's like, I think that James feels guilty. And Ariana's like, um, I think it's because he feels like that because like he knows he's betraying himself. And let me add to that. <sighs> and Lala's like, no, I just think that like everyone's worried about losing use as a friend. And I was like, well, maybe it's both. I think there's like a layer of like, dude, he fucked your ex fiance, you know? And Ariana's like, well, I mean, it really mattered to him. So there's no way it doesn't matter two minutes later. And Lala's like, yeah, well, that's what time does. Time passes and then something starts. And you know what? You're always going to see it differently. Um, well, uh, I was looking uh, at your new brand. Did you say brand? Fuck you, bitch. Never speak to me again. I'm going <laughs> to throw you off a fucking roof. Got it, bitch? Because this bitch is in the streets. And if you come from my man's after what he did to me and my babies. <laughs> hypocrites, uh, you fucking hypocrites. 
Um, I see the truth of who Sandoval really is, though. I was like, well, of course, because you're the most affected. So, like, well, I don't really care what James does. I just don't think it's who he is, and it will come to a head for him. Yeah. And what will what will what will your stance be if they kick it? Yeah. What if they're like kicking it together? She goes, I'm not gonna fuck with that. She goes, see, but like, see, Sheena, she's made a parent that if you go and forgive Tom Sandoval. That that's gonna put your friendship at risk. And she goes, I didn't say anything about forgiveness. I'm just not gonna fuck pe- with people who are going out to dinner with him on a random Wednesday. <laughs> uh, you know, like, like a like a wedding. I love that Wednesday night is like, <laughs> <I> love it. <laughs> like a a weekend would be better. Like everyone goes out on the weekend, so at least that would be forgivable. No on one, Wednesday, a no Wednesday, one does anything important on a Wednesday. <laughs> I mean, would you ever do anything on a Wednesday? <laughs> so Sheena's like, this is like exactly what I was afraid of. Well, mm, that and like not getting a call from dancing. But I was like trying to have a conversation with her tonight, and like from. <laughs> <laughs> from dancing with the stars to losing Sandoval, but like seeing her reaction to like James hanging out, I'm just gonna like sit back and keep my mouth shut. And Lala's like, if anyone understands this whole thing with the ex, it's me. Cause like, I just don't wanna see what happened to me happen to you, where I become so invested in what everyone else is doing. <laughs> And Ariana's like, huh, but I'm not. Look how light I am. You were mean when you were threatening to cut people off. I'm so lighthearted about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like very chill and fun. Don't worry about it. Lala's like, but you are. You're heated. You're heated that Jim's is going out to have some Brazilian dinners. And Katie's like, um, you can't apply your situation to everyone, Lala. She's like, oh, really? Saying I'm applying my situations? Because we're not going to apply my situation to reality, are we? Because no one's going to like what I have to say about it. Ooh. By the way, when they, when they show the shot of Katie saying "ooh," she's like fully blurry because the camera was uh, first decided to focus in on the Mr. Cat, Bang. Mr. Bang. <laughs> I was like that. Like the cameraman was like, "I really don't care about Katie right Literally, now." Let's look Katie at what the cat cannot win on this. Let's show, look at what the cat's you. doing. I know Katie's <laughs> actually doing something today, and they're like, "What's Mr. Banks doing on the dining room chair?" <laughs> it was literally like they the cat wise. The cat was like across the room, and they're like. And that, like, can we get Kitty out they of frame? The, even in the final shot, spoiler alert of the episode, which will come in about an hour in this recap. But the final shot of the episode, Katie gets the final shot where she's like, I'm so mad at everybody. And it was still a close up of Mr. Banks, <laughs> and they had to blur about blur back to get Katie's face in there. But <laughs> like the girl can get no respect on this. Show. Mr. Banks is like, can't help it, I'm a star. <laughs> Um, so Katie's like, well, what kind of threat is that, Lala? You're not going to like what I have to say? Then fucking say it, Lala. Say it with your whole chest, bitch. Let it go. I was like, okay, okay, Katie. You can't be invoking Lala, who's invoking Tupac, while you're in a fight with Lala. Okay. She's like, excuse me, don't talk to me like that, bitch. Yeah, well, I love two white girls going at each other. Come on, just stop, you two. You're embarrassing, you two. Katie's like, Ex- she, Katie's like um, excuse me, Lala. Like, don't point your finger at me at, at me like that, bitch. Well, I, you know what? You do not want that with me. Disengage. Disengage. <laughs> so Ariana's like, I think what she means is that you act like, oh, it was just so much worse for you, Lala. She goes, it was worse for me. I love it every day. Do you know what it's like to have a baby with a rand face? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it's like to have to feed your little baby child two chicken fried chicken breasts every meal <laughs> every time i see that baby i just say be nicer to bruce <laughs> stop exploiting bruce so lala is like no one gets shitty ex more than me i'm never rid of this shitty person i had a child with that's how i know harboring resentment like ariana is it's gonna eat you alive okay it's like drinking the poison and expecting it to kill another person okay it kills you i don't want that for my friends and Katie's like, yeah, well, your problem always has to be bigger. It always has to be better. It always has to be, which is true. She's got a point. But she was also the one who's like, Tom Sandoval never apologized to me about five minutes ago. <laughs> so Lala's like, um, I wrote so hard for Ariana. Are you fucking crazy, bitch? And you're making you're making me go on defense mode. And I don't want to go there with you. Then defend yourself. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, I don't want to do that with you. So why are you doing that to me? Because I haven't done a damn thing to you, Katie. And you know, since when has that mattered? She was coming for you from the first second. But you also have to remember, and that's what I love about this, they cannot keep it together for two seconds where they're like, we're just going to have 
solidarity for when right. see they can't do it nope. i mean even already lala's already like don't come for me bitch and katie will come for you we've already seen it happen on this show and i yeah. love it katie's like it just she's like, it just was a bit much Lala's, you're a bit much all the time guys i'm just gonna say one thing the point of astrology is how we're all different and like we know how lala communicates and we're just we're just like all different guys yeah um because like this is all about like universal love like can we all just get along we can if you just understand people's birth charts <laughs> you know what i watched that three times by the way. <laughs> you know what i apologize if at any point in time i made you feel like i, w I was making it about me i just I just get heated, you know? Like, you want to see my chart? It's right there. Ha, 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 ha. And then they all laugh, but Katie doesn't. Katie's all pissed off, and that's where we get the shot of Mr. Banks. And Katie's like, guys, <laughs> can you please focus the camera on me? Like, sorry, Katie. It's <laughs> a really cute cat. <laughs> Katie's mad, everybody. Focus the camera. I would argue that Bank Mr. Banks is the best cat we've seen since... Uh ashes which was lauren conrad's cat on the hills well there we go okay guys that's the end of this 19 hour recap thank you so much for being here go get tickets for the european stuff the netflix comedy festival see this on patreon get the bonus episodes everything over at watch what happens watch it crap ends dot com also dwell hello is going to be really fun this week this is a guy searching for a house in the valley yeah and we're going to be doing this right before the valley premiere uh in honor of the valley premiere so check that out on wondery plus and we love you guys we'll talk to you next time bye, bye. watch what crappens would like to thank its premium sponsors ain't no thing like allison king ashley savoni she don't take no baloney strolling the park with caitlin clark she's not just a sheila She's a Daniela. Itchels. Erin McNicholas. She don't miss no trickolus. She's never scary. It's the Green Fairy. Jamie. She has no less namey. Hava Nagila Weber. Know your worth with Jason Kurtz. She's the wind beneath our Jennifer Wing. Sip some scotch with Jessica Trotch. She's always supplying. It's Kelly Ryan. Kristen the Piston Anderson. Let's give a kisserino to Lisa Lino. Megan Berg. You can't have a burger without the Berg. The baby. Area Betches, Betches. And our super premium sponsors. Somebody get us 10 cc's of Betsy MD. We're taking the gold with Brenda Silva. Let's get real with Caitlin O'Neill. Don't get salty with Christine Pepper. Can't have a meal without the Emily Sides. Nobody holds a candle to Jamie Kendall. She's not harsh, she's Jill Hirsch. She's a little bit loony. Junie. My favorite Murdo, Karen McMurdo. We love him madly. It's Kyle Pod Shadley. Let's go on a bender with Lauren Fender. We want to hang with Liz Lang. The incredible edible Matthew sisters. Give him hell, Miss Noel. She's the queen bee. It's Sarah Lemke. Shannon out of a cannon, Anthony. Let's take off with Tamla Plain. She's quite the catch. It's Victoria Cotchett. She ain't no shrinking Violet Kuchar. We love you guys. Hey, Prime members, you can listen to Watch or Crappens ad-free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app today. Or you can listen ad-free with Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts. Before you go, tell us about yourself by completing a short survey at wondery.com slash survey. Hey, grown-ups! The Cat in the Hat cast is a new podcast from Wondery, perfect for the whole family. Join the Cat in the Hat and your favorite Dr. Seuss characters as they get whisked away on a new adventure every week. Fish dreams of creating his very own polite and quiet podcast. That is, until he gets a surprise visit to his fishbowl podcast studio from the Cat in the Hat himself. And it becomes very clear that the cat has other plans for the podcast. And those plans are the opposite of quiet. Sing along to new favorite songs, try your luck at Titanic tongue twisters, have some fun with wondrous wordplay, and most importantly, bring your family along for all of the adventures in the Cat in the Hat cast. Follow the Cat in the Hat cast on the Wondery app or wherever you get your podcasts. You can listen to the Cat in the Hat cast early and ad-free on Wondery Plus. Join Wondery Plus in the Wondery app or on Wondery Kids Plus on Apple Podcasts today. 
In the 1980s, Frank Farian was riding high as a successful German music producer, but he was bored. German pop was formulaic, dull, and oh so white. Frank had bigger dreams, American dreams. He wanted to create the kind of music that would rival larger-than-life artists like Michael Jackson or Run DMC. So he assembled a hip-hop duo, two once-in-a-lifetime talents who were charismatic, full of sex appeal, and phenomenal dancers. The only problem? One very important element was missing, but Frank knew just how to fix that. Wondery's new podcast, Blame It on the Fame, dives into one of pop music's biggest controversies. Millie Vanilli set the world on fire. But when their adoring fans learned about the infamous lip syncing, their downfall was swift and brutal. With exclusive interviews from frontman Fab Morvan and his producers Frank Varian and Ingrid Segui, this podcast takes a fresh look at the exploitation of two young Black artists. Follow Blame It on the Fame wherever you get your podcasts. You can listen to Blame It on the Fame early and ad-free by joining Wondery Plus.